Hey guys, Mr. BXRP here and welcome back. Uh, today's video is going to be uh, a little bit different. I'm actually traveling. I'm on the road and uh, today's video is going to be about self-limiting beliefs and, and I'm not going to get into uh, digital assets uh, in this video. So uh, hopefully you guys will still enjoy it and, and, and get something out of it. Um, I am traveling. I'm visiting my daughter at her college and uh, this evening we went to a gymnastics competition and I'm talking about a serious, serious competition. And, um, and, and she goes to the University of Florida, and they did win. Um, but in watching this competition, you know, I looked at these, 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 these athletes and saw them doing things that I did not see gymnasts doing 20 years ago. Just like when you watch the X Games today compared to the X Games from 10 years ago, they're doing tricks and, and stuff that, that wasn't even thought of 10 years ago. So I was so blown away by what these ladies were doing at this gymnastics competition um, in, 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 in these moves that, they, that weren't even possible 20 years ago that it reminded me of the power of self-limiting beliefs and and what i mean by that is people limit themselves and limit what's possible based on what's been possible up to now um, or what they think that they're capable of and and the greatest example i think in modern day history is the runner roger bannister roger bannister it was a runner from great britain and in 1952 Roger Bannister did something that nobody in recorded history had ever done prior to that. He actually, during the Olympics, broke the four-minute mile. He ran the mile in three minutes and 59.4 seconds, right under four minutes. Nobody had ever done that. And here is the amazing part. The very next month, the Australian John Land did it also. And he did it in three minutes and, and 57, 7.9 seconds. And then within three years, 15 other runners did it. And, and the amazing part is, you know, 66 million years man has been on earth. The Olympics have been around since 776 BC. Um, the watch was invented in, in 1505, right? So they could start timing people as of 1505. Why, why did nobody break the four-minute mile sooner? Well, the answer is very simple. Because before Roger Bannister did it, before Roger Bannister believed it was possible, it just wasn't possible. Nobody, be nobody else believed it was possible. So why was, why was John... Um, uh, land the Australian able to do it the month after Roger Bannister did because Roger proved it was possible and the moment Roger proved it was possible now suddenly he could do it too so it's an amazing example of of when somebody breaks through the the um, self-limiting beliefs of man, how other people can follow right behind him. I've experienced it many times in my life. I, one, of the, one of the greatest examples that I have in my life of, of doing it was before I got into the real estate business. In my previous life, I used to sell swimming pools and swimming pool heaters for, for a big company. And in the 30 years that that company had been in business, nobody had ever sold more pool heaters in one month than 18. 18 was the company record after 30 years of them being in business. And the year that I was getting married, the month before I was getting married, I had such a need for money that I shattered that record and I sold 28 in one month. And, uh, and I did what was impossible for that company. They never, ever, ever expected it to happen. But, but that's not really the big part of this story is the, me taking it from 18 to 28. Here's the bigger part of the story. The guy who had the record at 18 was so infuriated that I broke his record and, and sold 28 that the very next month he sold 34. And it's absolutely amazing 
that he had been with that company for over 20 years and he never exceeded 18. But when I showed him 28 was possible, he knew it was possible and he turned around and showed me that 34 was possible. It's absolutely amazing, guys. And, and I wanted to share this with you um, because I think it's, it's, it, it holds a lot of people back and people are just held back by what they think their level of life is. And your level of life is as high as you're willing to dream and as hard as you're willing to work. So I hope you enjoyed my message today. Um, I know it's not my normal message, but I, but I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you get something out of it. And the only question I have for you today is what are your self-limiting beliefs that you need to delete from your hard drive? What head trash do you need to expunge from your brain so that you could take your game, your life to the next level? I hope everybody has a fantastic night, a fantastic weekend, and we'll be right back in action next week with Digital Assets and XRP. Thank you so much for listening and have a great day.